Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fast and Curious. On this episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at the inverter wiring harness. As you may recall, I recently started an EV conversion where I plan on using the third generation Toyota Prius parts, the transmission, the inverter, throttle pedal, and so on. And in prior videos, I showed you how I found this inverter at a local junkyard and it was uh, uninstalled with a machete, as I like to joke. And so I, um, being a curious person, wanted to know why the inverter harness, as you can see here, why is it always severed? Um, where does it run to? And um, is it okay if we buy it this way or can we do better? So stay tuned and uh, I will go out and buy another harness and we'll take a look where does it run, uh, why they cut it, and if we can maybe uh, score something that's better than this. So a couple hours on Facebook Marketplace and some negotiations and $50 later, I scored a bit more complete wire harness. So if we take a look at this wire harness in front of me, It has the exact same branch, if you will, that our cut one does, okay? So we can also look at it where it runs to, and it seems to be running to a fuse box, fuse block, and on uh, cars in the States, this is on the driver's side, which would be the left side of the car, and it's in real close proximity, obviously, to the inverter. I think it sits like this in the vehicle. So now we can understand a little bit more why it's cut here is because it goes into the fuse, uh, fuse box. I've tried to purchase this, as I mentioned, and I had uh, some prices quoted up to $200 because um, it, includes, it includes the fuse box and Sellers think that's why we're buying it for, but not really, I don't think, as we will find out in this video. So what is the rest of this harness here? I've been told that the rest of this runs to the headlights. So this is the engine wiring harness, nor is this the transmission wiring harness. I've done, a, I think I've documented the transmission wiring harness which has the resolver cables and uh, build thread. I don't think I made a video for that. I spared you the pain and suffering, but I'm going to subject you to that with this. So this whole leg or branch, if you will, we don't need, I don't think. I just want to show you what runs off of it. And then I mentioned that I bought another partial one because as you can see here, it is severed on this end. There's a big main branch. I'm guessing this runs through the firewall into the cab, into the cockpit of the Prius, and then veers off into various uh, modules, be it body control module, ECU, ECM, PCM, something, something. Uh, there's also a sort of an ECU connector here, not to be confused with the inverter one, okay? It is different. I hope to show you some close-up pictures. But this one runs to an ECU that sits in this general area. So the plan for this video is to unwrap as much of this as possible and see if these wires would just continue on and go into the cockpit. And then we would lose them anyway, say, another 8, 10 inches further if they took their time and unwind this more, hence justifying cutting it where they cut it. Or if some of these wires go into the fuse box or maybe, heck, run in front of it here via the headlight branch. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so let's use the shaky cam here and give you a little bit of close-up of what this looks like. If we start here at the inverter, obviously it plugs into the side. And let me back up here. So this is us standing 
Um, nope. So this is what it would look like if we're standing in front of the car in the States, right? So in, right in front of me would be the driver. The trash can is the driver. And it's inverter with this fuse box in the side. And I made these cables veer off to my right here in the picture. But um, they would go in front of the inverter really because that's where the headlights would be. But that's neither here or there. I just want to show you what we would get if we were to unplug this and see how it goes inside the fuse box. Okay, so here there's this connector which we'll take off of this major box. Here you can see all the wires. There's uh, 63 of them in there. If you don't believe me, pause it and count for yourself. I'm joking. I'm joking. So what I'm going to try to do is methodically uh, unwind this and perhaps start with that inverter leg here and follow it, how it snakes, follow it, and just at first see how many go this way versus how many go that way. It's just a little exercise in futility. Here we can see that they kind of Y branch off both directions. Oh look, a zip tie. It's going to be a good day after all. So yeah, I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod, start working on this. And uh, this might be one of those where you're seeing my hands more than you are my mug. But that's okay, because I have the face for radio anyway. All right, guys, let's go after it. All right, here we go. First tools of the trade, a box cutter, uh, two different types of pry bars, and uh, zip tie cutters. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, first, as promised, uh, liberate this guy, which is our branch, and see how, how much further it goes in there. So I'm going to gonna try to show you as much as I can of this awesomeness and maybe work upside down and sideways. Now, don't cringe in public as I take these out. I'm sure there's nice ways to take out 10-year-old plastic connectors, but not me. I'm going to barbarian those. Okay, so this would lift out a little bit more. Sorry, this is kind of black on black. And How is that in there? And Can I get rid of that? Well, it looks like it slides. How many hours do I want to spend on that? So. This piece somehow, will it go up or down sideways? Ah, wow. Okay, let's end the video here. Thank you. Good night. I never liberated a plastic bracket without breaking it. Radical. Okay. Sorry, guys. You're going to be a little bit upside down. We're going to continue on with this. This, Trust me, this is our inverter thingy. So we're going to snip oh, the zip tie. And... This is what we're doing. So bear with me. Bear with me. Hopefully you can see this. Ugh. Sometimes things get worse before they get more better. All 
Okay, so this guy here, we have our inverter connector, then some sort of ECU connector that we don't need. So don't tell my wife I'm not wearing gloves, okay? Once again, she's out on the date with her boyfriend, allowing us to have some time to work on this. So we can work without gloves on. Okay, so just trying to separate the branches and as you can see you now there is a there is a little green guy here that wants to run to our inverter so i'm going to i'm going to just try to keep this intact for a minute here and go keep going down this major branch If I cut myself, it's because I'm working upside down, y'all. All right, so here, I'm going to go the, the wrong way. But if you slice with the wires and the blade is prison shank sharp, as I highly recommend it, it's not going to harm the wires. Okay, and that's months and months of LS swap harness building talking. Okay, I think I'm going to get a little bit greedy and cut this off too. My wife calls this my therapy. I have no idea what she means by that. All right, so we can see here, see from, from our harness, we're seeing something here that we could take a swag at. Is it a swag or a wag? Wild ass guess. So I think one of these, there's, or I'm sorry, four of these would be for synchronous serial. And I'm, I can feel this. I'm not sure if, um, not sure if you guys can tell, obviously not, but four of these are a little bit thicker, so I'm guessing that these four are synchronous serial, and I know because I already took one harness apart that there's actually six of them, and these two are for something else. They're a little bit thinner. Anyway, at this point, all we're concerned with is that these ran and were cut further down, so these probably ran inside the cockpit. These ran inside the cockpit. And then here we can see that some things are veering off. Okay. So we're just going to kind of keep at it a little bit. So there's a red wire this runs into the fuse block i mean we don't have to keep track precisely exactly this is just to get an idea another one runs into the fuse block i might pursue those nicely and then well there's another mess so we can look at something similar with the uh, ECU connector here. These went from the ECU, which obviously is none of our concern at the minute. Um, these ran to the cockpit as well. What I think I might want to do here. I'm really curious about this green wire here. So I'm gonna unwrap some of our, our harness to see 
uh, if it just kind of loops around or if we actually use that green wire. And of course, it looks like our tape would start on the other end. Of course it would. Huh. Great. Well, maybe I won't do that. Let me free up some of this other harness here. Goal being just to get some elbow room. But just gently, super sharp uh, box cutter here. What I would recommend you do before you start this, just replace the blade. Even if you think your blade is new, that way you know it's brand new, never used on anything. You never know when your spouse or partner may have borrowed it to trim some roses. I'm just saying it could happen. Okay, it's, it's, man, I don't know who did this. They did an outstanding job, but it is, it is crazy in there. So usually uh, they like to use white wires with uh, black stripes as grounds. And when you see something like this, this is sort of a junction, that's usually grounds. It's just a bunch of grounds. Right there. Yeah, this is going to get ugly quick. I'm just, I'm just trying to, uh, again, get some room to work with here. So I'm pulling out a bunch of irrelevant stuff. Irrelevant to us. Maybe, sort of. Ah, well. So back to our branch. Some green wire here into the fuse. Yeah, I'm going to try to um, maybe liberate anything that is not related to us, only leaving our connections in here. Let me try to go at it that way. So I'm going to maybe see if I can get rid of this big old headlight uh, wiring harness. So, yeah, I'm going to try to go after this headlight wiring harness and start cutting it out of here um, just to get rid of this big old mess so that we can have something easier to look at and work with. Let me see how can this how can I do this? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I picked the wrong harness to do a video with. This is this is a disaster. Oh my goodness. Where does it run to? Okay, here. This is gonna take forever.
just not exactly going according to plan. But I'm going to press on here. I'm kind of going backwards where I'm cutting out majority of this stuff just so we can see what our parts are, which is backwards than what I would normally do. I would just cut out what I need. All right, continuing on with this bird's nest. Absolute bird's nest here. All right, so some grounds where are you guys running to? Everything I touch and I want to liberate goes somewhere else. Let me bring you around. Let's see if this is any more better and any more fascinating for you guys. So the goal is to get rid of this here. And some of it connects to this guy. Do we care? I'm starting to wonder if I care if this goes to this connector, which is not the inverter one, and I don't think I care. So I am going to snip it. There are some grounds here. I'm going to snip those. I think this is a common ground for us. I think I'm going to cut it as far as I can. Another ground here. We may be making some progress. I don't know if you guys will agree in this craziness, but um, Okay, we are actually making progress, believe it or not, so. The goal, again, is to get rid of that big headlight part harness out of here. And we may be just down to a few more wires holding it on. There's a few more grounds. Okay. Let's see what is holding it. So these guys here. That's so excited. I bumped you all, but okay. So this is the whole uh, headlight part out. All right. So back to our fuse box now. And um, 
here it is. I'm going to move stuff out of the way as much as I can. Um, what I'm trying to show is what of this inverter harness goes to the fuse box and where. There is one green wire that runs to this, uh, what I would call ECU here. That's the only one. I think I might cut and label it. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to tie it in a knot because I'm lazy. And that one means it runs through the ECU. You guys remember that. And then now I'm going to take all these ECU wires and probably cut those off. So that we can get rid of it. Okay, so I just freed up this ECU. I think that's what it is. I don't know. There's probably a bunch of them called ECU, but this plug is out of our harness. And then now it's just everything in here is what we're using. And so let me try to, I keep saying this, making more sense out of it. brush all the junk away it's like was it Michelangelo who said I don't um, I didn't carve out David I just uh, removed everything that wasn't David I mean it's exactly what we're doing here right Uh, I'm not sure that's the ground, but here's what we have. So we have three wires running to the fuse block. This is if we, you know, did it all legitimately. So when they cut our when they cut our harness, really, you know, that's like what eight inches, six inches, whatever would have been longer because this would run through the cabin. And then we have these guys. I'm not sure if I can tell. So I think if we if we looked at the green guy. Here, it runs to one of these relays. It's running to this relay right here, okay? So I might label that and say blue relay on it. Very scientific. Blue, blue relay, that, that couldn't be any more informative, right? So I'm going to watch this video later myself. Green wire from the inverter harness went to this blue relay right there. How genius is that? And then if I leave a little cable on there, then I'll know exactly, right? So that was a blue relay. Let's follow the red wire through the forest here. Oh my goodness. Doing this for science. 
It disappears somewhere in there. Is that to a fuse? Either a 10 amp fuse or something funky. How's that? Let me let me dig deeper. So 10 amp fuse for the red. For the red wire. We're going to label it. It's great writing on towel. 10 A fuse. We can look at our wiring schematic later and see if that makes sense. And so now just one more white wire right here that disappears into our forest of stuffs. And sorry, I can't do better on bringing you guys in here. Okay, this one's going to be tricky because. It's kind of in there, and it's hard for, for me to tell if it's like one of these fuses or whatever that is. It looks like more fuses, but it's kind of weird. It's like a triple fuse of fusiness. It's like 50, 30, 30, but it looks like a triple fuse of some sorts. Let me see if I can do better. Do better, Greg. It's the problem is that some of these wires loop back to the fuse box and I can't like pull them out like I'm pulling this one out because they're they're just looping back onto themselves. Tracking down one last wire. I, I can tell it's in this row. What are we doing here? So there's this. Looks like it's sort of third one up. I'm going to say that's this 5 amp fuse, the yellow one here. Uh, hopefully I'm not mistaken. And now we're liberated, if you will. We no longer need the fuse block. And this white wire is five amps. So it's a white wire, but it's all white. It doesn't have black stripe. The ones with the black stripe, those are usually ground. So I'm gonna put five amps on here. So was that worth $50? I don't know, for me it was, because I'm a nerd and I like learning and sharing is caring. But if you guys just get a pigtail with your inverters, then I think I've just proven that it's not the end of the world. It's totally fine. And, you know, this is, uh, we, this is also only needed if we're running the zombie and externally controlling it. So, so there we have it. Uh, six of these fat wires, four for synchronous serial, 
two extras for other stuffs. And, and then, you know, all of these here, let me tell you how many of them are, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, a baker's dozen of skinny wires not sure we need them all and i'm sure some of them are uh, duplicate grounds if you will uh, but this one i think is a little bit nicer than mine because i think this is an inverter ground and uh, it came with with this harness so they didn't butcher it i'm wondering if it was cut on my original so now I have three harnesses um, if you uh, need one reach out to me I'll uh, pass on the savings to you it will cost you maybe shipping and a Chuck Norris joke so um, yeah thanks for watching guys um, it's a boring video and I'll shut up now thanks for watching